remember you are not the mind you are not your thoughts you are not the intellect beyond all of this is the soul which is spiritual energy when this unruly mind throws a thought that you do not wish to adopt just distance yourself from it you are not obliged to accept every emotion that the mind throws towards you today i thought i'll speak to you all about mindfulness i am sure you have had the experience where something from the environment immediately made your emotions shoot up and you reacted to it only to regret later on that by getting annoyed the situation got further spoiled or you did not say the best thing you could have on the occasion or you reacted in anger where it was not really necessary why does all this happen well all of us have this built in lower nature with the amygdala in the brain in it that is always watching out for our protection in the case of animals it triggers the fight or flight response when it senses danger and for us humans the amygdala sometimes takes over this behavior is emotionally destructive to me take immediate action this is called by psychologists the amygdala hijack where you react from your lower nature but it does not have to be that way because if we keep acting by the programming of our emotions then we are not behaving in the best possible manner so the concept of mindfulness is becoming popular worldwide as a technique for cutting away the emotional reactions that have been programmed in us the concept behind is this when emotions arise don't respond immediately but just watch them like for example when you go to the zoo you see animals in cages now these animals the ferocious carnivores are good to look at as long as they are in a cage but if they were allowed to come out of the cage then all hell would be let loose likewise if you see an emotion of anger or disgust arising you just watch it without participating in it which means you distance yourself from it this enables you to ride the emotions just as people do surfing on the beach sides the gentle waves enable people to surf them if they have the expertise so with the help of mindfulness we can surf our emotions if we have learned the art this mindfulness is becoming extremely popular amongst academic circles in corporations now as medical intervention techniques because it doesn't require surrender doesn't require belief in the afterlife etc it's a simple non committal spiritual tool
Actually, it has been pulled out of the Buddhist tradition. The Buddha, he emphasized awareness. Our mind tends to lament over the past, worry for the future, or be anxious in the present. The Buddha wanted us to free our mind from these kind of reactive thought patterns. So he emphasized awareness. In particular, four kinds of awareness. The first, awareness of your bodily sensations. I am feeling the urge to eat a chocolate cake. So rather than immediately gratifying the earth, just watch it. The second is awareness of the feelings that arise. Oh, there's a surge of anger that is coming up because of what he or she is saying. The third, the emotions that are arising as a consequence of these feelings, how I am intending to react. And the fourth, awareness of our perception of the environment. I am perceiving Dallas is a crowded place. So it is just a perception. It could very well be different. Dallas is the center of this whole country. So whatever be the perceptions, they are after all perspectives. The Buddha said, take a step back and be aware. That will be extremely helpful in riding the waves of your emotions and choosing the best possible responses to any situation. Very few people around the world are aware that this mindfulness was taught thousands of years before the Buddha in Vedic literature in a far deeper manner as Sakshi Bhav. So what is Sakshi Bhav? Witness mentality. It requires first of all an understanding of who am I? So, the Bhagavad Gita informs us that we are not the body, we are not the mind, we are not the intellect. Bhumi rapana lovayuhu khammano buddhirevacha ahankara itiyam me bhinna prakriti rashtadha. Lord Krishna says, Arjun, these are all different aspects of my material energy. Your mind is well, your intellect and ego is well. And aparayamitas tvanyam prakritim vidhime param jiva bhuta mahabaho yayadam dharyate jagat. Beyond all of this is the soul, which is spiritual energy. So Sakshi Bhav says that remember you are not the mind. You are not your thoughts. You are not the intellect. So whatever drama tends to start playing there, you just distance yourself and watch it. This dissociating yourself from every thought that happens to pass your mind reduces the grip of that thought upon you. One lady came to me. She had a newborn child who was three months old. And she said, Swamiji, I'm in dire trouble. I said, what happened? She said, you will not believe it's to do with my baby. I said, to do with your baby? Are you having thoughts of picking your baby and slamming her against the wall? She said, Ha! Huh, how did you come to know? I said, you know, 
I am a spiritual teacher since the last 40 years. I know the tricks the mind plays. Now what had happened? A thought had entered the mind of this lady. The mind being a machine that creates 60,000 thoughts a day had created amongst other things my child so loving i love her and a stray thought had come of slamming the baby against the wall now if she had not paid attention to the thought in a fraction of a second it would have died off and not affected her consciousness the mistake she made was that she identified herself as the author of the thought Oh my god what did i do i thought such an inauspicious thought and by adopting the thought she energized it further and the consequence was it came to her again and then again and then again and slowly a neural pathway got etched where that became a prominent thought in her consciousness I was recently in my tour of USA I will not mention the city one lady came to me and said Swami ji I am in dire trouble I said what is the problem she said a few months ago my brother passed away from cancer I said I'm so sorry to hear that my condolences she said Swami ji that's not the problem ever since that happened the thought has come to me i can get cancer i can get cancer and i'm perpetually fearful of getting cancer and then i heard from your lectures that by our thoughts we attract circumstances to us so now i'm absolutely in morbid dread that i'm going to attract cancer to myself I said you have my assurance you are not going to attract any such thing just be peaceful she said swami ji thank you so much please put your hand on my head to confirm so the same thing happened here one thought came by i can fall sick and she adopted it i thought like this and the thought became energized so sakshi bhav witness mentality it says that when this unruly mind throws a thought that you do not wish to adopt just distance yourself from it you are not obliged to accept every emotion that the mind throws towards you and that is where mind management comes in the utilization of the intellect i will not think like this i will think like that so sakshi bhav is one of the primary sadhanas of the path of gyan yoga witness consciousness watch your mind and if you can proceed further you can even watch your intellect and then with a little bit of effort you can watch your ego oh, this pride it wants to rear its head i will not adopt it this is a good tool to have in your spiritual armory but in the path of bhakti yoga it can very easily be utilized with something else attached to it and that is your intention whenever you get to doing something let us say that somebody has shouted at you now the emotional reaction would be to shout back but that may only aggravate the situation that may not be a solution it may make you feel better because you have vented your anger but what is the guarantee that this was a solution oriented approach which should have been the mature response of a mature person not a problem why did you shout at me 
but a solution. How do I solve this problem? So, in the path of bhakti, you clarify your intention. In any work, why am I speaking to this person? Why am I doing it? Well, the Bhagavad Gita tells us, Yat karo shiyadashna si yat juho si dadasi yat Yat tapasya si kaunteya tat kurushva madarpanam Arjun, whatever you do, whatever austerities you perform, whatever you eat, whatever you give away in charity, do your every work as an offering to me. So in every work, wherever the emotions start rising, you watch them rise. Now you just distance yourself and say, why am I in this for the pleasure of God? How should I respond? That will be the best in the service of God. It may be that your best response may be to shout back. But that would be a rare tool. Like the saying goes, if the only tool you have in your armory is a sledgehammer, then everything seems to you like a nail. And in general, you can often discuss things with understanding, etc. to resolve the raised tempers. So, we have covered the whole sequence from mindfulness to the Buddhist detailed viewpoint to Sakshi Bhav to doing everything with intention.